Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a new video on this channel. We are still in the Sketch Basics video series in which I am telling you more about Sketch, how you can uh, become a designer and how you can use Sketch if you don't know how to use it yet. In the first few videos we talked about the interface of Sketch but we aren't ready yet. I want to uh, give you a quick overview of a couple of more interface parts and one of the interface parts that is pretty important and super necessary for our day design workflow is the canvas. The canvas is basically the whole area that you can use for your designs and usually of course you will create artboards on your canvas but it's important to know how the canvas works and how big it is for example. Now to show you how big it is I will just enable the rulers and you will get an impression of the size. Now we have zero right here and zero right there and it's actually infinitely big. So you can scroll to wherever you want um, and it's just insane because there are no limitations. Your design file could go from zero zero to 5 million on the X and uh, 5 million on the Y axis. But usually to have some kind of start, to have some kind of basement, uh, I'm trying to set my designs on zero to zero. So you can simply select your artboard or your rectangle or whatever element you have and you can set it to zero zero just like that. And you can also go and uh, either just drag the other one and it will snap to the right position or you go and insert a certain value like zero uh, and zero but of course you don't want them to overlap and that's why you can for example go and hit 500 and then you can see that we have a solid uh, spacing for our artboards right here. Now you already saw that we can enable those rulers. You can also hit Ctrl and R to uh, just hide them or make them visible. And we can show pixels. Now we aren't really using pixels right here because if I zoom in to a certain place, for example this one, we see that there are no pixels. We have a little grid overlaying uh, our design but it's still super sharp and I can zoom in to wherever I want and it's not going to show any pixels, only the little grid on the background. Um, but we can change that because maybe if, for example we are working on a certain project and we really need to see the pixels then we can go to view and show pixels. Now you see that our text is really ugly. Um, that's why I wouldn't recommend you using it while designing something but if you need to check a certain uh, I don't know, a certain corner for example and how it looks then it can be pretty helpful to show the pixels. Now you can also show a grid and you can show a certain layout. I will show it to you in a second. You simply go and hit view. If you don't have view in your toolbar, you can also go up here and choose uh, canvas and then you, you can choose show grid or show layout, but we will use this little icon right here. Um, you can show your grid and in this case, uh, you just see a certain grid that you defined or you didn't define it because actually, the grid has some settings. Um, you can define the grid uh, block size and you can also design the thick lines, uh, how often they come up and in this case it's 10 blocks. You can choose some colors and make it default as well. So for example we only want to show them every 20 blocks. We can go hit OK and you see we only see uh, two of them. And another feature is the show layout. So let's hide the grid and go for the layout. We see we have a certain layout here and this can be really useful if you're especially designing websites, if you're designing mobile websites and you want to work with a layout. Um, then you can also add some settings for the columns and the rows. Um, we can set a certain total width which is usually the width of our artboard. You see it right here and if we go back to the settings we can even change that, we can set an offset, a number of columns, so for example let's go and only use six columns and it gives us a nice uh, and clean way to, as to really see the uh, columns that will help us to align certain things if we are working and trying to make it pixel perfect of course. 
And a couple of minutes ago, I showed you the ruler and you maybe already saw that there are some lines in here. Those lines can also help us to uh, set certain points that we want to use for our alignment. So basically in this file, we have a line for our content. Um, that's not 100% accurate. It has to be right here. So it matches our notch. And we have uh, two lines on the left and on the right side and you see that they are aligning our content they are like the content outlines you know um, we can if we get a certain sketch file and we don't want them we can simply grab them on our ruler right here and just drag them over to some area outside of our canvas and simply delete them in that way we get a little animation there and we can do the same with like every other ruler line that we have in here but we can also of course create our own lines simply by going with our cursor uh, on our ruler and just selecting a certain value so you see it like next to the cursor that we have uh, 16 pixels right there um, and we have 359 pixels on this side. So basically it's super easy to create some kind of uh, alignment pattern right there and it's super helpful. So I use this almost in every project to check the alignment to see if everything is aligned correctly. And for example, uh, if we scroll in here, we see that it's not correct. We have to go and probably select this one right here, 360. Um, and then we see, for example, to give you an impression of uh, like a real project that this one isn't really aligned correctly. So let's grab those elements and slide them over and align them correctly. <laughs> um, so yeah, this was the canvas. It's your platform where you will be able to design all the things that you want and it's basically infinite. So this is basically it. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a couple of new things. If you are a new designer, make sure to subscribe to this channel as well and we see us in the next tutorial. Bye!